Listen carefully, ladies and gentlemen. This is a four barrel AFB Carter, and these are beautiful, beautiful for making two four barrels. I will advertise it first of all, a single four barrel, and uh, when I get a mate to it, boom, I'll put them together, make two fours, and them things will be gone like hotcakes in the middle. In the meantime, if it sells, okay. It's got the vacuum choke pull off, which means when it starts up, the choke will be in the choke position because of that little rod that goes down in the intake down there and chokes it with cold weather. But this here will override that and pull it back a little bit so it'll start. Called a choke pull off. Of course, when we make two fours, some guys they want to take them, throw them off, throw the rear choke, throw the choke blades off there, and do all kinds of crazy stuff to them. Anyway, we're going to do a test to start it up and let it run idle. Warm it up like it's in your driveway. Then we're going to add a load to it. It's like if your neighbor's car wouldn't start and you're going to give him a push. The only thing is a dumb guy's driving along with a brakes on. But you're going to push him anyway. And we're going to see if that carburetor is capable of doing that. All right. When you get this carburetor, you'll get some tips on tuning it. You know, of course, all this stuff's all done. You'll get some tips on your timing, how to cor correct that, I mean set it correctly, your fuel pressures, how to get the optimum performance with fuel pressures, and man, you put that carburetor on there, boy, like that, and shoot. Man, you, you'd be the best looking guy on the farm if you put that on your old farm truck. Here we go. Make sure we got everything off. Okay, we're in the driveway, warming it up. We just pushed the remote control on the garage, we're backing out. Be careful, you don't want to back over the kid's wagon that they put back there. Alright. Okay. Okay, we just what we did there, we opened up all the barrels momentarily. That will give us the reading here, here, uh, and up there. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and put her in gear. Now this in here you got a little vacuum place here for your uh, brake booster or for your uh, PVC valve and you got this one here I, guess, I don't know what you can use that for your distributor or you, you can put a T in there and you can have both of them I guess whatever you want to do with it here we go we got a load on it right now you're pushing your neighbor's car to start it careful you don't scratch that guy's front bumper back bumper I don't know if you noticed or not, but the more you rev it up, the more load it puts on there. And it, it, you, you can load it up to where it'll stall the motor out, but that doesn't prove anything. But you saw that thing start to shake. That's about 400, that's a small CSM. About 400 uh, foot pounds of torque. But boy, she's a sweet running machine. I'm gonna turn the fans on here so you won't be able to hear me run my dumb mouth. Okay, go get your credit card ready. I, you hear what I said? I said go get your credit card ready. No, not for the ice cream man to buy this wonderful carburetor. You put it in your car, you'd be surprised how much better looking your wife will be. Have a good day.